Yes, nagfi-film ako. Sige na. Uy, basa pa. Hey everyone, this is M and welcome back to my channel. Did you ever have a hard time finding the right tools and products when cleaning? I know I did. So in this video, I would like to share with you what cleaning tools I use to effectively and efficiently clean any surface and area. I showed my cleaning caddy on my 7 Japan Home Center hacks which I will link here and today I just want to make an in-depth video about it. I was also inspired by Miss Chris Lumagi. Aww. Hi Miss Chris if you're watching. She had a recent video about it and she asked me to post my cleaning caddy on IG. So I thought, why not just make a video about it? Don't forget to click on the like button if you enjoyed this video. Also subscribe if you haven't already. And kamehin mo yung notification bell so you won't miss out if I upload new videos. Okay, let's start! So this is my cleaning caddy which is actually a shower caddy as you can see. And I will show you uh, a couple of products and tools that I use to effectively clean any surface. So, first one of course is a rag, obviously. Of course, we need a rag. And I only have one rag in this caddy. I only use this on surfaces like tables and desks. I have a separate rag in the bathroom and kitchen which I hang using an over-the-door hanger in front of the under-the-sink cabinet door. I had a video about it as well which you can check out in the link above. For the cleaning brushes, I have an old toothbrush and then I also have a... Um, a silicone brush for hard to reach areas like uh, the drainage and then um, I got these three brushes from Daiso. One has a steel brush then another one also a steel brush but a bit softer and then the last one which has the softest bristles so it's like uh, a toothbrush but it's really great for cleaning grouts and those nasty gunk. I love these three because of its variation which I can use every time I clean. I think this one is my favorite. I also have scrapers. One is a bit wider compared to the other one. And this I use on nasty stuff that already stick on the surface, especially if you have kids. This is great in the dining room or the kitchen, plus it's made of lighter materials that won't scratch any surface so it's safe to use on wooden or glass tables. What I used before was the one that we use for baking. It's a scraper that is used when kneading the dough. So I used that before but I lost it. Good thing this one has um, like a hook. So you can just hang this in your caddy and you won't lose it. I also have a scoring pad for nasty bigger surfaces. I don't use soft sponge anymore because I have a rag for it. So this is something for build-ups. Next are the products that I use. So I have three bottles here. And as much as I want to be eco-friendly and use natural cleaners, it's just really expensive here in our country. Plus, it's a bit harder to find. So to make sure the products that I use are still not full of chemicals, here's what I do. So just a disclaimer, this is going to be the easiest DIY cleaning product that you'll ever see. <laughs> First is for regular surfaces. So like tables, desks, or countertops, which I also use 
on shelves or cabinet doors. To make this, I use one part of dish soap and three to four parts water depending on the dish soap brand. So if you're using a concentrated dish soap like Joy, then you can add more water. I usually just eyeball it because my bottle has a design which I can use as a guide. Second one is for the floor, so the brown one. I just mix one part of pine saw, which I just get from Japan Home Center for only 88 pesos, then mix with two parts of water. So this is it. And the last product that I use is for disinfecting any surface. So I use one part rubbing alcohol and two parts water. Just a quick tip, make sure to use a distilled drinking water for your cleaning products instead of tap water. So your products will last longer. I usually just make half the bottle and it's already good for 2-3 to three weeks depending on how often I clean. And as you can see, it's very budget friendly. As much as I love labeling and having an excuse to use my label maker, I still refrain from putting one. Why? Because this is a cleaning bottle and we use it often and it does get wet. So if I put a label on it, then it will just get removed or worse, it becomes sticky and it's really in the long run. So therefore, I would rather remember what it is based on its color. For the color, what I did was brown for down, which is on the floor. The green one is for clean, which is for the surfaces. And the black one is for yuck, because it's a disinfectant. Alright, so that wraps up my cleaning caddy. I hope you found this helpful and that it also motivated you to clean. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Keep in mind that there is always something to be grateful for. See you next time. Bye!